I'm John Walter. Um, this area is uh, it's, it's over the Rhine, the Clotter Conroy neighborhood. Um, it's a great place to live. I've lived here since uh, 1985. Urban forestry uh, has uh, really helped out with the relief program, uh, providing uh, all, all the trees you see here um, along the steps. Uh, there's three or four other places in the neighborhood also. We've planted almost 100 uh, relief trees uh, since the um, early 90s in, in this Clotter Conroy neighborhood. It, it's become a park, kind of a gathering place for the neighborhood, a uh, sense of pride for the neighborhood. It, uh, it's designed to foster uh, walkability, uh, neighbors getting out walking, getting to know each other. Uh, just uh, it creates a great sense of community. We have a dog park down the street also that is populated with uh, relief trees. Trees put a smile on my face. Uh, this, this whole area, even the West End has, when you look out over the city, an amazing amount of trees. Fairview Park, we have a mural right up at the top of these steps that shows what the hillside looked like um, turn of the century, 1900. And uh, there was not a tree to be seen. Just all the trees that urban forestry's planted and then the, just the natural trees that spring up. I mean, it's, it uh, you know, makes it a, a very desirable place to live. Hi, my name is Rochelle Lee, and I'm a property owner in the East Walnut Hills in Evanston area. I actually requested four different trees, um, and uh, I've always loved magnolias, which is one of the other trees, and then um, uh, I think the Cincinnati uh, Relief Site was really helpful in that um, it gave you the, the names of the different trees that were available, which ones were already um, sold out, I guess. Um, so it was just as simple as just doing a Google search. I think it's just a sense of well-being, honestly. Um, and they're also supposed to clean the air too, right? So um, I think in general, the more people around you, not just yourself, but your neighbors also care about their property. Um, in general, you have a sense of pride in your community. Um, and I couldn't think of anything easier than planting a tree to fulfill that. I have a friend that works for the Parks Board that told me about relief and uh, it was right after I moved into this house so I was able to fill up my yard with some new trees. Well this lot uh, used to have a house on it actually so I was able to purchase it when I moved in here and it was completely empty and it just looked kind of sad. I think um, the more plants and trees that you can have in your yard for sure it's a, a beautification thing and it's not just something that I get to see, it's something that my neighbors get to see as well. So. Um, I'm interested to watch it grow and if I don't live here forever I'll come back and visit it and, and watch it grow in the future too. So I think that's just a nice thing to share with the city. But I do think it's a great program. It was really easy to use. It, um, it did offer a variety of trees so I was able to pick something that kind of suited my lifestyle and my house and the type of sun that I get. And um, I think especially this year there are even more to choose from which was exciting but this one in particular I chose because I wanted something with some color in the springtime and it's been really easy to maintain and hopefully it'll live, live and be helpful.